My question here is, is this or is this not a PC Wooster? And I mean very early Wooster. Um, I have a piece of what I believe to be pretty early Bristol as well, and it's very creamy white. Whereas the Wooster is a different kind of colour. The Bristol piece has incised on the bottom in the base two stroke marks across and sort of semicircle which equates to this on the base incised it's a shell and it's a salt I believe it's a table salt 1700 and something 50 something of that nature now this piece, very interesting, polychrome decoration, what looks to me like a, an urchin, which is quite a Wooster type finial. Now this piece is damaged, but it's all present, I still have the scallop shell handles. See, it's a crystalline type of clay. It's a very, very thin body, and I mean very thin. It's a mold. It's really very present, like the Bristol colours. Eh, sorry. Wooster colours, the puce. And it has a mark on the bottom, on the base. A crescent with a dot. And a number 997. It is cracked, but if it's this early, um, it's well worth repairing. But my question here, back to this point, is as far as I'm, I'm aware that I can read up on, Wooster purchased at the very, very start, 1750, something of that nature. It purchased some shell mouldings from Bristol Factory. And these shell mouldings, they had stopped using by 1757. I can't find any details on them, but you know, um, I do have this piece, and it would take somebody other than myself to confirm whether it is actually a shell moulding from that Bristol set of moulds. They stopped using them by 1757. So it's highly unlikely this is a, because, you know, it's polychrome. The type of shape, it's, it just strikes me as, as it could well be one of these very early Wooster pieces. I can't find any details on it. I've had it for quite a number of years and I've really kind of avoided finding details because I quite liked it sitting up there, but I've got to a sort of certain age where you know, my kids, if anything happened to me, they would just, this would go in the bin. And I really didn't want it to go in the bin. I want it to go somewhere. It could be repaired and maybe somebody else to have it for a while. So anyway, I put some stills up there as well. And you can see. But it's got a different, it's got a real... It's early, it is early, and it's just that thin. And it's evidently a, a hybrid kind of paste because you've still got the wee dots and inclusions in the array with the hybrid pastes that they were messing about with.
to try and get the the paste right and it's it's got that sort of coloration and collecting in the the seams there you probably not see it quite right on in this light but anyway many of you guys out there have any more information on, on this or its likelihood I really appreciate it there's a wee bit of flaking here and there you can see the puce colour eh? it's, it's just strikes me as total Worcester I like Worcester, I've had loads of wee bits of Worcester Very naive piece. 